Get this, I'm on location at MacBook. It's been a dream come true since I was a little kid. Ledges, you got the three blocks, you got people ripping, you got cheap brews, good food, skate shops close by, it is so sick. What's up guys, my name is Levi, this is Shred Shop, connect you to skateboarding, and today we're actually in person at MACBA, and we're in front of the three block. If you just woke up or you just started skating, you might not know what MACBA is. It stands for the Museum of Art Barcelona. This is how you pronounce it. Museo d'Art Contemporani de Barcelona. I wasn't even gonna try to pronounce it. There are so many reasons why MACBA is a mecca for skateboarding in the world. One of the main reasons is that it is so central in Barcelona, so people can meet up and go hit other spots, they can meet up and practice, and it's so close to spots for food and brews. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is a three block, but before that, in 2009, this was a four block. If you look back at some of the old footage of what happened here, it was insane. This set has shown up in some of the most iconic skateboard videos. Zero Dying to Live, Flip Sorry, Fully Flared, Baker 3, the DC video, and of course, so much more. People that aren't from here, or maybe not from Europe, don't really realize that this spot, MACBA, yes, it's been shredded by a bunch of pros, but a lot of locals and a lot of people from around Europe have done more insane tricks than a lot of pros have done here. If you're already a fan of MACBA, or you love nerding out on this stuff, you need to follow at MACBA Life on Instagram. They're an organization from Barcelona about MACBA that shine tons of footage from this spot, as well as give a voice to the skateboarders of Spain. MACBA Life and so many others came together back in the day when the city of Barcelona was actually planning to tear down MACBA as a skate spot. They also gathered their money and did fundraisers and raised funds to fix up the ledges and repair things to make sure things could still be skated after so many years of skating. Okay, when you come to MACBA, obviously three blocks in the back, ledges out here, but when you flip around, there's some great restaurants. There's a restaurant called Kino, and you have to try the summer coffee. It's insane. You got MACBA bar here with cheap bars, tons of patio, tons of life out here and then get this there's three skate shops close by you have rufus skate shop pet shop skate shop and amigo skate shop all right within walking distance like three blocks so if you break something you're ready let me give you a couple tips that i found while i was here in barcelona to keep you skating and seeing the sickest spots one there is a sick app that one of the locals here showed me called crack it's k-r-a-k -K. go into the app store k-r-a-k -K, skateboarding you're gonna find it download it and it's gonna show up with pins all over a map showing you every good spot in the city and a lot over Europe. Number two, flying with your skateboard can kind of be weird on some of the small airlines in Europe. Everyone has different rules. Some of them you have to pack your trucks and wheels in your bag and then you carry your deck. Some of them you can't bring a skateboard at all. I talked to some people from around Europe that are skating here today and they said that they brought their trucks and wheels and bought a deck here. Some of them came, bought a complete. Some of them just snuck it on and they figured it out. A couple other tips, don't forget wax. It's insane, things are buttered up but the heat actually melts the wax and makes it a little bit sticky. Be nice to the locals. Since I've been here, people have been giving me their phone numbers, their Instagrams, showing me around spots, giving me food recommendations, all that stuff. As you can see, it is crazy busy right now. That's because it is the evening time. We came in the heat of the day the other day and there was like maybe 15 people here. Right now it's 9 p.m., so it's stupid busy. You've got people out hanging out, having a good time, and tons of people skating. If you're not from here, something I read from everywhere and locals have been telling me, keep your stuff on you at all times. It will get snagged, keep your bags on the front of you, maybe you got the pouch underneath your pants, maybe you got zipper pockets, whatever it is, don't set down your camera, your shoes, your skateboard, nothing like that. It isn't that people are sus, but your stuff is valuable and they want it more than you do. Okay, this is crazy. In 2017, Tiago Lemos won trick of the year for street league skateboarding, switch back tailing this ledge. You have to check this for scale, how tall it is, it's insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Levi, this is Shred Shop, connecting you to skateboarding, and you just watch us check out another spot. MACBA, baby. Guys, as we say it, always make sure you guys support local. There's tons of shops around here, but if you're in your city, wherever you're at in the world, go to your local skate shops, stay out of the malls. They all suck, local shops don't. This might seem cheesy, but listen, the best way for us to give you the content that you love is for you to like, subscribe, and comment. Let us know below what spot we should look at in the world next. What is your favorite trick that has been done at MACBA Ever. Hit us up below.